हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आर चैनल लर्निंग नोटबुक आज यू नो सी बी एस ई हेज इशूड गाइडलाइंस टू प्रमोट आर्ट इंटीग्रेटेड एजुकेशन एंड टू मेक स्टूडेंट्स अवेयर अबाउट द वास्ट एंड डाइवर्स कल्चरल हेरिटेज ऑफ आर कंट्री इंडिया सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न अबाउट जम्मू एंड कश्मीर and you will find lot of ideas on how to create art integrated activity on jammu and kashmir we will talk about its geography people culture history dances dresses food and famous places to visit in jammu and kashmir for this activity we need few colorful a4 sheets or a scrap file a ruler a black marker pen a pencil cut and paste picture book of jammu and kashmir a pair of scissors and a glue bottle aim of this art integrated activity is to understand the people culture history population geography climate dances dresses food religious places heritage sites and famous places to visit in jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir also known as paradise on the earth is a union territory of india along with ladakh jammu is famous for its temples while kashmir valley is known for its beautiful lakes and gardens now let's learn about history of jammu and kashmir jammu and kashmir has been the subject of dispute since the partition of the subcontinent in 1947 india administers the area south of the line of control pakistan administers northwestern kashmir and china took eastern kashmir from india in 1962 war from 17th to 20th century britain ruled most of the indian subcontinent but after world war 2 britain's power over india weakened so on august 14 1947 pakistan was formed and nation of india followed the next day at this time the princely state of jammu and kashmir which had a majority muslim population was governed by maharaja hari singh a hindu unlike most of the princely states which aligned themselves with one nation or the other Maharaja wanted independence for Kashmir so to avert pressure to join either new nation Maharaja signed a standstill agreement with Pakistan that allowed citizens of Kashmir to continue trade and travel with the new country Pakistan As partition related violence raged across the two new nations the government of Pakistan pressured Kashmir to join it So Pakistani rebels took over much of western Kashmir and in September 1947 Pashtun tribesmen streamed over the border from Pakistan into Kashmir After that Singh asked for India's help in staving off the invasion but India responded that in order to gain military assistance Kashmir would have to accede to India thus becoming part of the new country India Now let's learn about geography of Jammu and Kashmir Jammu and Kashmir is the northernmost union territory of india it is in the foothills of the himalayan mountains and has great natural beauty it shares boundaries with punjab and himachal pradesh in india while its international neighbors are china and pakistan 
the Pir Panjal range separates the Indo-Gangetic plain from Kashmir valley while the Himalayas act as a friendly barrier between Kashmir valley and Ladakh. Jammu and Kashmir is a place where lot of subtropical pine forest, thorn scrub forests, etc. are found. Jhelum is the major water source of Jammu and Kashmir. Apart from Jhelum, Chenab, Indus, Ravi and Tavi hydrate the region. Next is Climate of Jammu and Kashmir. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Climate of Jammu and Kashmir is to a large extent influenced by the mountains it is surrounded by. While Kashmir has a moderate climate, Ladakh is a cold desert with extreme temperatures and Jammu is a subtropical region with abundant sunshine and hot temperature. In Jammu, summers are hot with rainy seasons, while winters are cool. The mountains regions experience weather similar to that of Kashmir. The average temperature here during peak summer can go up to 40 degrees Celsius. In Kashmir, the temperature in winters may go down to minus 15 degrees Celsius in the hilly areas. But the place have comparatively better temperature at minus 5 to minus 8 degrees Celsius. Next is Population of Jammu and Kashmir Jammu and Kashmir has a Muslim majority population, but the region also has large communities of Buddhists, Hindus and Sikhs. Now let's see Languages of Jammu and Kashmir. The main language spoken by majority of the population in Kashmir is Kashmiri and in Jammu it is Dogri. Now let's learn about people and culture of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir is a diverse blend of various cultures. People from different religious and social practices of Muslim, Hindu, Sikh and Buddhist have created a composite culture here. Kashmiri comprises of Kashmiri Pandits, Kashmiri Muslims, Gujars and Rajasthani Rajputs. Now let's learn about famous places to visit in Jammu and Kashmir. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. The first famous place to visit in Jammu and Kashmir is Srinagar. It is also known as Mirror to the Mountains. It is a first stop over for every traveller and there is a long list of places to visit in Srinagar. The main highlight of this place is the lake. Next place is Gulmar. It is also known as Meadow of Flowers. It is a treat to the eyes with its spread of vibrant flowers against snow-capped mountains as backgrounds. The region is also known as Adventurous Paradise because of its vast options of skiing. Next is 
Next place is Sonmarg, which means middle of gold. It is a town surrounded by breathtaking glaciers and serene lakes. It is a gateway to Ladakh. Next is Pahalgam. It is a popular tourist destination as well as a hill station. Pahalgam is associated with annual Amarnath Yatra. Let's see the next place, which is Lola Valley, or we call it as Land of Love. and beauty here one can find lot of fruit trees such as apple cherry peach apricot etc due to which this place is also known as fruit bowl of jammu and kashmir last famous place here is jammu which is a land of grand ancient temples and beautiful palaces nestled against the backdrop of snow capped peak panjal mountains jammu forms the transition between himalayan range in north and plains of punjab in the south now let's see famous religious places to visit in jammu and kashmir First famous religious place is Amarnath Cave. It is one of the sacred places in India for the devotees of Lord Shiva. One can reach here through Pahalgam town. The temple holds utmost significance for Lord Shiva's devotees. Next religious place is Vishnu Devi It is a Hindu temple located in Kathwa Jammu Here darshan is open round the clock and throughout the year Every year millions of people visit this place and walk about 13 km uphill to reach the cave of goddess Vishnu Next place is Raghunath Temple. It is dedicated to Lord Ram. The interior of this temple is well crafted by gold plate expires, art and paintings related to God, Ram and Krishna. Next place is Lord Surya or Martand Temple. It is a Kashmiri Hindu temple devoted to Lord Surya. Next famous religious place is Shankaracharya Temple. It is situated on top of Shankaracharya Hill in Srinagar. The temple is used for regular worship and pilgrims visit the temple during Amarnath Yatra. Now let's see the next place which is the Kheer Bhawani Temple. This temple is located near Tulmul village and is mostly visited by Hindu followers. Here Devotees offer rice and milk pudding to Kheer Bhawani as a symbol of worship and faith. Next place is Sud Mahadev Temple. This temple is believed to be 2800 years old and it is devoted to Lord Shiva. This holy temple is situated near Patni Top and is about 120 kilometers from Jammu. The last famous religious place to visit is Avantipura Temple. 
It was a Hindu temple located in Avantipura, Pahalgaon. There were two temples, one for Shiva and other for Vishnu. These temples were destroyed by earthquakes. Now let's see heritage sites to visit in Jammu and Kashmir. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel then do like share and comment on our videos also do not forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook The first heritage site to visit is Shalimar Bagh Mughal Garden It is located in Srinagar and the bath was built by Mughal Emperor Jahangir for his wife Nur Jahan. It is now a public park and is also referred to as Crown of Srinagar. Next is Amar Mahal Museum and Library. It is a palace in Jammu which has now been converted into a museum. The Shivalik hills or ranges to the north of this palace on the left bank of the river provide a grand view with the Tavi river flowing in between draining the valley. Next place is Bahu Fort which is a historic fort in city of Jammu. The fort is a religious place and has a temple dedicated to Hindu goddess Kali. Next heritage site is Mubarak Mandi Palace. It is a palace in Jammu and it was the royal residence of Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir from the Dogra dynasty. The last heritage place to visit is Akhnoor Fort. This fort is located on the banks of River Chenab. Now let's learn about famous traditional dances of Jammu and Kashmir. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also do not forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook Traditional dances of Jammu and Kashmir are first is Kodu dance Next is roof folk dance then dumhal dance after that hafiza dance then Jagran dance and last is Chaja dance. Now let's learn about traditional festivals of Jammu and Kashmir. First traditional festival is Lori. Next is 
Next is Besakhi. Next festival is Eid. Then there is Herat. Next is Shikara festival. And last festival is Tulip Festival. Now let's see traditional food items of Jammu and Kashmir. Famous food items of Jammu and Kashmir are Mutton Logan Josh, Yakni Lamb Curry, Koshtaba, Kahwa, Laida Shaman, and Kashmiri Bengal. Now, students, let's learn about. Traditional dresses of Jammu and Kashmir. Traditional clothes in Jammu and Kashmir for both men and women is Firan. It is a long loose gown that hangs down below the knee area. It comes with broad and long yet loose sleeves and there is heavy embroidery to it. Then there is Taranga, which is a coloured scarf and it is a headdress of a Kashmiri Hindu woman. Muslim Kashmiri women wear a red coloured headgear called as Kasaba. For Kashmir men, the Faran includes the Churidar Pajama along with which they wear a skull cap. One other traditional garment for men is Tarhan. So this was all about Jammu and Kashmir. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.